Hi, my friends, do you like a clematis? Me too. In this video, I want to show you how I do root a clematis. When to take clematis cuttings. This plant is possible to grow from stem cuttings from late spring until the end of summer. The best way to propagate clematis is by taking softwood cuttings in April or May. Remove a section of stem from the current season's growth, which is ripe but not too woody or too soft. I usually do it in late spring. If you take clematis cuttings in spring they are called softwood. In summer, they are called semi-ripe. Finally, if you do it in late summer, it is called ripe. Clematis cuttings take root best in late spring. This is a time of great movement of plant growth hormones. But if you make a lot of cuttings, then the business can be successful anyway. In autumn, clematis cuttings are called hardwood. For best results, I use semi-ripe clematis cuttings. This is the best choice. Look how it looks. I grow both clematis and prince. Distinguishing princes from ordinary clematis is not difficult at all. The stems of the prince are woody. Open work leaves. Trifoliate or double trifoliate. Look at the leaves of clematis. And these are the leaves of the prince. Did you notice the differences? Another difference. The princes bloom very early, already in April to May. Some varieties bloom again, in August. The flowers are less showy than those of clematis. They are formed on last year's shoots, again, on the shoots of the current year. Cuttings later in the season are tougher but slower to root. There are benefits to both. Like any propagation method, it never has a 100% success rate. I usually prepare about 5 or 10 pieces, originating from about 5 long cuttings, and end up with 2 to 5 plants to be planted in the garden. 
Some will carry on for years, but others may die off. But do not be sad, this is a living world, and sometimes this happens. In order for the clematis stalk to live, I use the plant hormone heterooxin, you can take a root gel. These products can be bought at a garden store. An aqueous solution of heterooxin promotes the development of the plant's root system. Once the clematis stalk is cut off, I shorten the leaves. This will reduce moisture evaporation but keep the photosynthesis process for the cutting. The clematis stalk must be stuck into the ground at an angle, and the cut of the stalk must also be made oblique so that the contact area with the soil is larger. Everything, it's done. Now I will make sure the soil is moist. You can cover the clematis stalk with a flat transparent plastic bag and this will retain moisture. It remains only to wait. After about 4 weeks, you will know if you have a new free clematis. Look, here's my little clematis. This is already decorating my flower bed. If you want to try growing other plants from cuttings don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon, thanks for watching.